six months ago. We attempted to get the world's highest FPS in Minecraft. But despite attempting every single optimization thinkable, we failed miserably, achieving a mere 8,000 FPS. Far from the current world record of 14,000 FPS. But that changes today. After months of research, trying to figure out every single optimization you can make in Java Edition Minecraft, I think we're finally ready to attempt to beat the Minecraft FPS world record. Nothing is going to stop me. And this, my friends, is my gaming PC. This is my gaming PC. It has liquid cooling, an RTX 4070 Ti, an i7 13700F CPU, and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM. Not to mention, our previous FPS record of 8000 FPS was actually done on a PC that only cost me a little over $300. So this will be a huge upgrade. So basically, this PC is an absolute beast. Because if we're gonna beat the current Minecraft FPS world record, we are going to need every single drop of performance that we can get. And now you know what PC we're using. It is time to officially begin the challenge. It's time to set the Minecraft FPS record. So I booted up Minecraft with no mods, no optimizations okay. to track our starting FPS. Just the latest version of Minecraft. Completely default video settings. All right, so I guess I just open up F3 and see what our starting FPS is. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, 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 but can we get that all the way to 14,000? And with that, it was time to begin optimizing the PC for maximum frame rate and finally beating the world record once and for all. Starting with our first optimization, the Minecraft version itself. 1.20 is one of the worst optimized versions of Minecraft. There are countless videos proving just how bad modern Minecraft runs on average hardware. And trust me, it shows especially on all the hardware. Beginning the challenge, we tried every Minecraft version possible to see which one was best for FPS. The oldest versions, the alpha versions, every version of Minecraft was tested, with the top three versions still being 1.12.2, 1.8.9, alright, and 1.7.10. Oh my god! <laughs> 1.7.10 no. definitely takes the lead here, and it's not even close. We have already increased our base frame rate from this to this. Pretty impressive without any mods, clients, or even changing the game settings. But now it's time to consider the four best Minecraft clients for maximum FPS. Luna, Fabric, Feather, and LabbyMod. Unfortunately, Fabric and LabbyMod do not support 1.7, leaving us with Feather and Luna. So it turns out I was wrong. The client doesn't support 1.7 apparently i decided to use forge with a bunch of fps mods in replacement to see if we would get a higher fps using mods on forge than luna client the results were pretty surprising so on forge we are getting oh, wow. Whoa, 4300 no all right okay that okay no they are literally the same no they are quite literally the exact same in fact forge is slightly higher Dude. Meanwhile, we still have the easiest optimizations to apply. And of course, render distance was set to 2. 5,000 FPS. All right, we're getting somewhere. For our next optimization, we will be abandoning the in-game FPS counters. The in-game FPS counter actually limits FPS a lot, so we will now be using fraps. I've allocated an extra gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Oh, and this time, we're also gonna use a super flat world. Go. Disabling mob spawning, daylight cycle, and even disabling the chat for maximum FPS. 5,800 FPS. So we've optimized Minecraft a lot, but what about the computer? <laughs> Windows 11 by default is horribly optimized, severely bloated, and runs unnecessarily bad. But we can change that, and here's how. I disabled all startup programs, adjusted my power plan to the highest performance, toggled all background apps to off, 100% power, changed my 3D graphics settings to fastest, 
and I also installed Hone, which basically increases your FPS by correcting your PC settings. And it's gonna work really well. So yeah, this is what it looks like. We're just gonna go ahead and enable all of these. On, 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 feature breaking, on, optimize mouse, on, it, it might help, I don't know. Lock for GPU at 100%. On, lock for CPU, on. Do not do what I just did, by the way. Enable everything without looking at what it does. And now that we've applied these changes, let's see what difference it's actually made. Here we go. All right, we booted up the world and we are getting seven. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I got this menu open. Oh my, what? 8,000. That is crazy. 6,000 FPS to go. Game on. So I added even more FPS mods. 11 mods. But we had a problem. We've maxed the FPS counter. Which means no more crap. And now, we were reaching 10,000 FPS. But then I realized this. We are still running at a resolution of 1440p. And we're getting 10,000 FPS. So let's see what happens if we lower our resolution down to 720p. One, go. 11,000! No! Alright, it's dropped down to 3,000. Hold on. Oh! That is absolutely crazy. At only 3,000 FPS away, we were starting to get really close to the record. So I messed with video settings and applied a texture pack that gets rid of every block in Minecraft. 3, 2, 1... 12,900 FPS. Wow. At this point, I was running out of things to do to increase our FPS any further. I tried enabling more optimizations and also closing my recording software. But surprisingly, this did not make any difference. I don't know how to get past the 12,000 FPS, almost like a wall that we're hitting. That's when I decided it was time for a custom operating system. After hours of research, I decided to download Atlas, an optimized version of Windows designed to reduce system latency as much as possible to give the highest frames per second possible. So I downloaded Atlas and began the process of creating a bootable USB for installing Atlas. I then restarted my PC with high hopes, no freaking way it worked. But whilst choosing a drive to install Atlas on, I made a massive whoopsie. Hey guys. So, it turns out I just made a really big mistake. Um, I don't know how much of this video is recoverable, but I just accidentally deleted everything. In the process of selecting which drive I was going to install Atlas onto, I accidentally wiped my current Windows installation. I've lost every other video I was working on for this video. Subscribe, please. I really need it. I hate my life. But after all, we had some good news. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. No freaking way. Only 140 Windows processors. This is very, very responsive. Wow, that's incredible. We are down to only 128 processors. But will this increase our FPS? Well, the only thing left to do is find out. I've gone ahead and applied all the FPS optimizations we had before. All that's left to do is run our Minecraft and find out. Kind of nervous. It was time to find out if our custom operating system actually got us more frames and if we had got the FPS record. The only problem was I couldn't get Forge to work on Atlas, so I used Lunar Climb. I'm gonna disable our desktop icons and I booted up the world. I haven't even pressed the F1 key yet. We are already getting 11,000 FPS. This is the moment of truth. If we hit it, we hit it. If we don't hit it, we don't hit it. Okay. I'm gonna press the escape key and we're gonna see what FPS we're getting. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, alright, one more time. Three, two, one, go. Oh! What the heck? One last time. Damn. We had beaten Minecraft's FPS world record by a whole 1400 FPS. Get owned, MCBYT. Get owned, it's oh whoa, you guys smell. Haha, <laughs> not joking. Ending off this video with 15,858 FPS. We did it.